Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see when is there going to be a turning point in your relationship or in your romantic connection, in your love life, and exactly what is a turning point and when can you expect for it to arrive. This reading is for those of you that are coupled up or even single, I'm sure there will be some messages that might be beneficial to some of you it is going to be a general reading so please just keep that in mind though if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire my email is going to be listed below okay so what is going to be the turning point in your relationship or you know with this specific situation romantic connection that you have going on or perhaps you know what is going to be the turning point for you for future relationships Well, a little noisy over here. You've got a few major arcana cards here. Okay, so there is going to be some very big, powerful, um, very transformative um changes that are going to be full of impact okay that are coming in for you that are going to i feel like it's going to change not only your current relationship your current romantic connection but also any future connections to come um the five of cups does indicate it does have this energy of you Holding on to someone or you holding on to a situation or a relationship that maybe has long expired. Um, or, you know, it, it could be an energy that you're still holding on to even though you guys have parted. It's a loss of some sort. It does signal an emotional anguish in a sense that, you know, something he went wrong. Something he didn't necessarily unfold the way that you wanted it for for it to have gone okay something he you know not only has it disappointed you but it's something that it's you're still hurting you're still hurting from the pain from the disappointment from the failure or the breakdown of something and it's something that you cannot try as you might you cannot release yourself from this very energy or this very situation this very person here and that's what's keeping you in a way, it's what's keeping you stuck or it's what's keeping you very closed off. Um, it's also what's keeping you, it's hindering you, okay? It's um, it's hindering you in many ways, but it's also very, this energy of you being stuck on the past or you being stuck on a relationship or why, you know, maybe it's a current relationship, but maybe it's something that they've done in the past or perhaps... Um, in previous relationships, whether romantic or otherwise, someone he has really hurt you and you cannot seem to move on from this person's betrayal, from the pain that they've caused and inflicted upon you, from the words that they've said, okay? And therefore you treat all future relationships with suspicion or you treat them, it's like you, you're punishing someone for someone else's words or intentions or someone else, you know, the pain someone else caused you. Um, and it's so that is manifesting itself in some very unhealthy ways for you. It's also what's preventing you from engaging in a healthy, happy relationship. It's it's also what's preventing this very relationship or connection that you might be in or even previous ones from flourishing, from growing and thriving in the way that it should. Because and it's it's keeping you stuck and you cannot possibly move forward if you keep looking back and it's like you're choosing to for whatever reason I, I get that the reason for this is that you it's like it's this pain feels so familiar to you even though it feels painful and it feels uncomfortable in a very uh, in a very poignant way it feels so familiar okay it's this pain it's a pain that maybe you grew up with or it's a pain that you lived for far too long. And so you associate this pain or this trauma, this loss with, 
it's interwoven into your identity and you associate with it. So you feel like leaving behind this very person or the situation would then mean leaving behind this, would then mean leaving behind you or a part of you that existed in that particular point in time. It doesn't have to be that interpretation, okay? That doesn't have to be your narrative. Um, you know, people shed skin. Uh, people change, they grow and they evolve. They are not their mistakes, they are not their losses. You know, you aren't what happens to you. So your biggest turning point, whether with regards to your current relationship or any future relationships, is going to come about when you finally decide to let go. I get that whatever you're holding on to, it's familiar and you probably still have love for this person or in a way it's comforting even though it's painful and it's uncomfortable, if there's a sense of familiarity, it's it's normalcy as well. Maybe that's all you've ever known. So for you, for a lot of people, maybe that might be, you know, the abnormal thing to do. But for you, this is a sense of normality. So, you know, you have your reasons and I get that and they're valid, but it's what's keeping you stuck. It's what's keeping you unable to move on. Um, whether with a current relationship or move on into any future relationship. So um, the reason why you're feeling what you're feeling is because you're essentially you're holding on to something, but you're not really allowing it to do what it's here to do for you. And what it's here, it's here because it's helping you. It's all a part of your journey, okay? It's all a part of your journey that's helping you grow. It's trying to evolve you. It's trying, it's challenging you, but you're growing, you're evolving. You know, you're not the same person that you were a day, a week, a month, a year ago, okay? Um, so let it do what it's here to help you do, which is help you learn, help you heal the wounds, help you grow, help you evolve. Um, and that is when your biggest turning point is going to come, okay? Because notice how you've got the infinity loop, it appears twice. This is something that if you do not fix this, okay? If you do not address some of these emotional issues that still need addressing, if you do not look closely at at whatever it is that you're holding on to, and you yourself know what it is. You yourself know what you can't release yourself from, whether it's an energy of guilt, shame, whether it's a toxic person that you had in your life and you're still holding on to this person because even though they're toxic you still love them you can still love toxic people um it happens very often right um so you have to really look very closely almost under a microscope to see what your you know what your situation is and what is the personal narrative that you tell yourself about it okay um, because this is going to go, not only are you going to go around and around in circles with the current relationship, but you're going to project those same insecurities, those same fears and anxieties onto any and all future relationships. Okay, so this is going to go around in circles and not really have you get anywhere. So that's why, you know, it's important for you to turn the page. So your turning point is essentially going to turn over a new leaf, to turn over a new page and herald in a new beginning, a new chapter, a new relationship. Um, most importantly, a new you, okay? And for a lot of you, your turning point is about letting go. You're letting go of someone or something so that you can, because you're no longer that person or well, that connection is, you know, it's 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 expired and it's done everything that it could there's just absolutely no more of that for you you have to let go so you can manifest you know the life you've always wanted the the relationship you've always wanted the marriage or the partnership the union you've always wanted you have to let go of your fears your insecurities your anxieties any negative and unhealthy toxic patterns emotional behavioral okay you have to let go because this is it's not serving you if anything it's draining you and the longer you stay okay in this emotional state or you stay in this relationship or this situation or whatever it is for you the longer you stay much like adam and eve here you know look look at them the longer they stay in this sort of uh, situation they start bearing 
you know, they start sprouting the horns here, bearing the resemblance of that, of the Bathomet, the devil here. So the longer you stay, the longer it's going to consume you, okay? And you will not be able to um, disassociate yourself from it, okay? So your next turning point is definitely going to be about letting go. And in letting go, you're going to welcome in the life you've always wanted, okay? Um, the life you've always dr dr dreamed of, the person that you were always meant to be and the person that you were meant to be with. Some very big powerful changes are coming for you, but you need to let you know let them do what they're here to do for you, which is change you, grow you, evolve you. Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.